स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया about uh, some fascinating uh, some very very fascinating aspect of um, patachitra in bengal uh, that are found in 19th uh, 20th century and even before uh, where uh, as we see in today's context that the stylistic differences are very limited uh, still it's full of variety but still as compared to the previous um, the older ones uh, we see that the differences are much uh, minimum because of many reasons uh, because of the division between the societies fortunately is reducing though it's a very generalized statement that i am making on the basis of uh, fewer facts but uh, still there is some indication in the direction so uh, i'll i'll talk about uh, two three different styles from the districts of west bengal those are situated uh, very close by and they are the adjoining districts uh, in a small state so it, it's very interesting to see how uh, different districts it's not only the different states of a country but even different districts have different styles of their own which is very distinctive in their visual identity uh, so i'm picking up uh, a common topic like ramayan and i'm using that as the example to uh, understand the phenomenon uh, in fact uh, let me just uh, express quite a few things before we go to the examples that uh, there are quite a few common features that are found in uh, most of the cases um, where uh, the practices are not so widespread right now it's concentrated in fewer centers but it's happening in a uh, higher form uh, so we cannot say that the practice is uh, um, like under some limitation uh, it's happening in a very different order that though they are taking place in uh, fewer uh, centers but the quality of the artwork and also the rigor that is going on in the artwork is having a different dimension altogether so uh, let's uh, talk about the um, stylistic features that are generally found in uh, west bengal uh, that is the the context of our discussion right now so the portraits in the patachitra of the district called birbhum are either in three fourth views uh, that is a profile view uh, it's it's either in three fourth views or full frontal with joined eyebrows uh, an indian red ground a compulsory frame or border flower fruits or just dots to decorate them in bakura that's another district what we see that the faces are in profile the drapes of the deities are embedded with floral motifs one can also observe here that the knotted and plate like line and the patterns that are in indian color indian red color uh, that is always there in the base also the patachitras of hugli district that is a small district have a dark brown base with execution in linear pattern that is known as rekha mandala bala so it's a combination of uh lines rekha is line uh so painting of manbhum show uh, a confined place uh, that the space of it is restricted a frontal approach uh, with impressions of deep indian red white and yellow color that is predominant over there the santhal pargana uh, that's another uh, region uh, the colors are usually green blue yellow salutes 
are on white base and the images have a childlike rendering with studied spontaneity and two dimensional motifs are also seen there. Now, let us move to the Ramayan of uh, Birbhum from 19th century Bengal, which is a 17 panel um, Patachitra, it is a painted scroll uh, that I have chosen for my topic. Uh, that is uh, the medium is paper and cloth together and I have done the documentation in Guru Sadar Museum. Um, the scroll number is 1652, 27 feet by and 3 inches uh, by 2 feet and 4 inches is the size of the uh, artwork. So, let us see that and I uh, will show you the images and also explain you the thematic uh, meaning of that. So, in the first frame, we see Dasharatha with Shani, the Saturn. Uh, this part is almost damaged. Uh, so, it is partially shown on top of the frame, but uh, it is uh, in a damaged condition. So, what we see in the plate uh, at the uh, like at the beginning, it is Dasharatha and Jatayu, and then the hermitage of the blind sage. Dasharatha kills Sindhu, the king brings the corpse to the hermitage, dead bodies of Sindhu and his parents on the pyre, Dasharatha's three queens and some sages. Scene of sacrifice for the birth of a son, goddess Manasa, the snake goddess, goddess Kali, goddess Durga, goddess Durga and dead Ravana, dead Ravana reunion of Rama, Lakshmana and Sita, king of death. The continuation of the uh, 14th section, the king of death, Yama, then a hell scene in three sections and then the last frame with Jagannatha Trinity, which is different from Vishnu and I will show a detail of that in the next slide. So, the hell scene and the Jagannatha Trinity and then the departure or the exit of all the characters, that is how it ends. So, what we observed in this a uh, scroll of Ramayan that uh, it has the typical uh, feature of Birbhum's uh, Patachitra, where the faces are either in three quarter view as I explained in the beginning or it is totally frontal, it is roundish. It also have joined eyebrows that is a very typical feature of Birbhum's Patachitra. It has a base which is quite flat made of Indian red color. Uh, it is also true that there are lots of overlapping that is taking place, but there is no ground made as such. It is it's all uh, made, it is almost like a cut collage sort of images that are cut and pest uh, in that form on the flat Indian red ground throughout. At the same time, there are amazing uh, treatment to create volume on the faces and other limbs and that too, um, it is not very recent. So, the kind of artwork that I am uh, using as example, they are from the uh, old Patachitra, the traditional ones and what we see here is the use of volume that is um, quite sophisticated in its rendering 
and the borders are having dots, flowers, etc., and that is almost a mandatory factor here. Each of those 17 frames had uh, frames in it, so they were confined at the same time because of the similar figurations, the repetitive uh, motifs and uh, specifically for the continuation in the motifs uh, in the border, they are putting them together and gives it a sense of vertical continuity that keeps the story going. This is also very important to remember that a story like Ramayana does not need too many frames because it is assumed that the story is known to everybody. So, when somebody is showing certain um, image or uh, they are trying to illustrate certain idea, it is already known that the image is there in the mind of the audiences. So, they have chosen the key frames from the uh, long epic and uh, this is also another observation that we must uh, make here that um, the stories are not uh, just there, it is it's already like known that uh, there had been one oration that was um, that came with it, uh, but uh, even without the oration or the storytelling, the stories can survive or that could stand as individual images. And there lies the uh, self sufficient and complete nature of this kind of uh, Patachitras. So, we will see the next uh, row of painting from another district and that is uh, most interesting here. So, if we pick up uh, the Patachitras of Midnapur, another district situated in West Bengal, uh, we see that the individual uh, characteristics are completely changed there and it has a clear and distinctive identity uh, that can be very easily figured out. Anybody can make, uh, make it out that this belongs to a different region, it is coming with a different visual style, uh, keeping in mind that uh, the story is again, it is based on the uh, same uh, textual reference that is Ramayana. So, the Ramayana story is depicted in a complete different visual identity in another district uh, in Birbhum in uh, that is uh, Midnapur and that is very different from Birbhum. So, in the first frame what we see that Vishwamitra's visit to Dasharatha and Rama and Lakshmana killing Taraka and other demon. The picture is again it is a 20th century Patachitra uh, with 14 panels from the same museum, uh, the Guru Sadha museum. The number of the scroll is 1646 and it is 18 feet 7 inches by 1 feet 10 inches in size. So, it, it starts with a frame where Vishwa, uh, Vishwamitra visits Dasharatha and not before that. Rama and Lakshmana killing Taraka uh, and other demons. Demons disturbing the sacrifice of the sages. Lamentation of Dasharatha for exile of Rama. Sages greeting Rama, Sita and Lakshmana, Rama on the way to the forest with Sita and Lakshmana, Rama and Sita engaged in conversation and see how simply they have separated the space where two people are sitting in isolation and the other things are happening just outside. The amazing spontaneity and simplicity in the artworks are making it very expressionistic. Lakshmana chastising Shurpanakha, Shurpanakha's complaint to Ravana, Marich being the magic deer that is at the right corner of the frame. 
So, it is a demon in the disguise of the deer, Rama killing the magic deer, the Maya Mriga, Rama, Sita and Lakshmana in the cottage. Sita and Lakshmana in conversation again. Sita and Ravana asks alms to her, Rama's collapse. Suparashwa attempting to draught the chariot of Ravana, Jatayu relating the story of abduction of Sita to Rama. The monkey army of Rama at the gate of Sanaka. Angada as ambassador to Ravana. Fight between Rama and Ravana. Recent of Sita and her fire ordeal. Although Midnapur has become the center uh, now, uh, the village named Nayagram uh, is the place uh, where the entire uh, attention is going in today's time and they have evolved uh, in terms of the figuration, the subject matters and the adaptability of new subject matters, new sensibilities. That is the core of folk art that it, it's, it should be in a constant mode of change and it, it's with the same uh, energy and no um, stiffness from any side it's flourishing like anything. So, that was a very um, old form of um, uh, the same region where they use that they, they are keeping up with the same amount of spontaneity, the kind of yellow, the fluorescent yellow that we have seen in the previous pictures, uh, as well as the uh, figuration, the line, the kind of spontaneity and uh, the, um, the studied spontaneity that is shown in the pictures are uh, quite significant in that uh, regard. So, um, I would like you to spend some more time uh, and see the images, so that you can make out that how different they are stylistically. And I am picking up the uh, artworks, I have uh, purposefully chosen the artworks which are very distinctive in their stylistic identity. They can stand out as a visual identity of a particular region which are quite close by. So, uh, next we are going to see the Patachitra with the same theme again um, of Ramayana from another district which is also very close by that is Murshidabad and this Patachitra is also uh, collected by Guru Sadadat in 19th century and it is made in 19th century. So, uh, that is the uh, let us see it, it is a 16 panel image which is 10 feet 10 inches by 2 feet 1 inch. So, what we see in the frame that is the beginning, uh, we see the absence, Rama's allens to Guhaka, sacrifice of the sages and killing of demon by Rama, marriage of Rama and Lakshmana, marriage scene of Bharata and Shatrughna, the four brothers, Rama's return to Ayodhya along with brothers and Sita and other new brides. Now, I mentioned this in some previous comments, but now this is the example that um, I would like you to see for a longer time that the Dasharath image here and also, the draperies, the other characters, they have a strong regional identity. The kind of costumes they are wearing, they are typical of that region, which is the Bengali uh, customs and rituals that are added here. And it is so mixed in style. 
that we also see a strong western indian influence in the figuration the kind of sophistication that is found in this artworks are uh, uh, they are it is it's very different from the earlier one that we have seen from Midnapur or even from Birbhum. So, what we see here is again the uh, flat colored base which is also made in Indian red and the figures are all going in one direction in a asymmetrical order which provides it with a lot of dynamism. And, uh, it is also there that the figurations the well defined contours are filled up with flat colors and by creating contrast the figures are mostly made, but this is also true that the kind of figurations are uh, extremely influenced by the 5th century narrative panels of Ajanta and I think it has come here. Uh, through the western Indian the Rajasthani miniature paintings, because Murshidabad was the center of um, the rule ruling uh, authorities and they commissioned many uh, artists from the western India, especially from Rajasthan. So, there uh, are perhaps some influence from that side which has come through the court painters and that gave it this kind of uh, sophistication. And also in the border of the painting, we see that things are much more uh, naturalistic and also idealistic uh, as compared to the Patichitras of the same subject that we have seen from Birbhum and Midnapur uh, previously. So, in the next frame, the humiliation of Parashurama by Rama on his way to Ayodhya then the marriage procession. See the dynamism and the asymmetry in the character, it is very forceful, there are overlappings with minimum sense of depth. The secret reception of the newly married couples, Dasharatha and his son Kaikeyi and Manthara seen in the picture. The textiles in many places have resemblance with the local woven clothes of Bengal at that time. Sorrow in the palace at the news of the exile of Rama, death of King Dasharatha and everybody lamenting all around. Rama on the way to the forest scene, that is the scene of departure, Rama, Sita and Lakshmana on the boat of Chandala king Guhaka. They are on the bank and they are received as guest at the house of Guhaka. Rama, Lakshmana and Sita worshipping Shiva image and the scroll ends here. So, what we have seen in the images uh, are significant for a point that we must also see that the um, area wise divisions are much more limited here. There had been some restriction perhaps in all those zones to uh, maintain the identity. So, they preserved their cultural identity in all those small little zones, whereas uh, right now it is spreaded and it is evolving in a very rapid way. Uh, so, we get to see that there are incorporation of newer elements in the artworks, which are not often uh, very uh, religious in uh, like in terms of the subject matter. Uh, so, with that in the next lecture, we are going to see another tradition uh, just to realize how they were restricted. Um, so, to understand all those things, I am again taking help of a case study that is done in Raghurajpur, Odisha uh, in our next lecture.